Hi, my name is Vanessa Voki. I'm a photographer, an artist, and a sewist from Canada. And while we don't have Target stores here, we do have the same kind of self-ID and gender-neutral kind of laws that have been allowing for these kinds of incidents that have been arising in Target. Specifically, peeping toms. I wanted to make this video on behalf of the Turf Collective to raise awareness about their campaign and also give more women the information so that they can get involved in their local city as well. So this is from the Turf Collective's Facebook page. A study was released a few years ago which compared the number of sexual assaults in Target store bathrooms before they imposed a gender-neutral bathroom policy and after. Unsurprisingly, those rates rose. Target has not changed its policy in light of that information. Instead, it continues to use women as human shields and prioritize men's access to the bathrooms of their choice over women's access to private safe spaces. Less than three whole weeks ago, an idea emerged to make quarter flyers that highlighted a key finding of the study, provided a QR code and a URL to the study, and additional information. The goal is to begin to pique ordinary women who have no idea what's even happening, and those who may not be aware that these policies have an actual, measurable, harmful impact on the safety of women and girls. So far, we've distributed hundreds of flyers at six different target locations and in four different states. I'm making this post and sharing it around because we still need more participants. Many, many more. There are 1,909 target stores across the country. The women shopping and working at these stores deserve to know this information. Please join us. It's easy and kind of fun. Hashtag Turf Girl Summer. Hashtag Turfin in the USA. This author believes that the sexual predator theory is a credible one due to the literature on sexual offenses, especially the paraphilic disorders of voyeurism and exhibitionism. These data may not be an area of knowledge for transgender advocates and may be why some have coded opposition to gender identity access as transphobia. Summarizing the literature of exhibition victimization, reports that approximately 40% of the female population around the world report experiencing unsolicited male genital exposure during their lifetime. Although there is little data on the prevalence of voyeurism from